Christmas evening I thought I would make a video about um, chronic illness and the holidays um, it's kind of lonely here um, my mom went ahead and took my grandma down to see the rest of my family and I wasn't able to go down with them it is unfortunate in fact this is the first year I wasn't able to go down with my family to um, the holidays and I wasn't also able to go see my uh, husband's side of the family either for Christmas and I'm not with my husband either and this is the first year I wasn't able to be with him for the holidays because we were usually truck driving together so I am here with my pug and my poodle sleeping unfortunately he has kind of a bum knee so he's hurt so i'm playing nursemaid with him as well so we're kind of just all here together and um we're just enjoying each other's company um so um i thought i would just kind of go over a few things um why i wasn't able to go down with my mom um one of the things um one of the major reasons is i have a few major doctor's appointments coming up um that i wasn't able to reschedule um some being my physical therapy if uh, i miss my physical therapy i'm in so much pain that i am pretty much bed bound and um so i cannot miss my physical therapy um that is just so essential um, for my quality of living. Um, so that's number one. And um, because of my insurance the way it is, they only give me so many um, sessions a year. And so now I'm down to just being able to go once a week instead of twice a week. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, the second one being I have to... Uh, get my dentist stuff done before the end of the year. If you don't uh, get it in, you lose some of your insurance benefits. So I got to get that taken care of. Um, I got a really bad infected tooth. So unfortunately, um, I do take pain medication. I had no idea. So when I went to get a dentist checkup, they said I had a very badly infected tooth. They couldn't believe I couldn't tell it was infected. And I said, well, I do take pain medication and that's probably why it was masking the pain and she was like oh okay so <clears throat> she didn't want it going into my bloodstream and it creating a worse infection and me being hospitalized so I have to take care of that um, and then I also had to uh, fill out this huge packet of disability paperwork and send it off and I've been working on that over the course of a week and if you guys have ever filled out disability paperwork it is a nightmare so um, I'm working with my lawyers trying to get this all done and compiled and sent off so yeah, it's um, been kind of a whirlwind here. Um, sorry, I'm trying to catch my breath. Kind of a breath here. I've been having really low pull socks and if you guys follow my Instagram, um, uh, I've been having um, really low blood pressure and I've taken some falls and um, just yesterday I fell twice because I blacked out and it was nice because my little pug, I was awakened by my pug, he was licking my leg, so it was really sweet of him. Um, that was a nice way to <laughs> w 
wake up. So um, just today, um, my pulse has been kind of all over the place. I don't know if I'm able to show this clearly. Let's see if I can get close to the camera where you guys can see. It was as low as 39 and as high as 153. I don't know if I can show this clear enough, but that's what my pulse has been doing today. So yeah, that's, that's my POTS today. It's been kind of out of control. So if you guys have POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, you know what it's like. You have your good days, you have your bad days. Unfortunately, Christmas, um, today was not a good day. Yesterday was not a good day. It was running in the low 30s. There, I guess it turned off, but here you guys go. Um, it went even lower than 39, so um, I will be posting a picture of that probably tomorrow on my Instagram. I'm usually a day behind on my Instagram simply because I don't have enough time to be doing a lot of things that I would like to be doing simply just based on chronic illness. So I was just trying to get everything done for Christmas, trying to get my gifts for my family done. Um, and I baked a batch of cookies um, that were um, gluten-free, dairy-free, and egg-free appropriate because most of my family is allergic to a lot of things, um, just like a lot of my family has POTS and EDS, and so it runs on my mom's side of the family. So I baked them a batch of cookies, and um, I also did a wonderful sweet potato dish, although I did not film the sweet potato dish, but I did film those cookies. Um, they're a shortbread cookie, and it was made with a coconut flour. So I will be posting, um, if I remember to, I will be posting the gluten-free um, shortbread cookie recipe um, on my YouTube as well, if I can remember to get that edited. Um, so anyways, that is me on the holidays. It's just, um, it's just been me and my pug and my poodle, of course. Um, we've been all just kind of hanging out today. Um, but yeah, I wasn't able to go down with my mom because she didn't get me back in time for my appointments and I'm not able to uh, drive myself. Um, I can drive myself very short distances, um, just basically to my appointments. Um, but uh, unfortunately, because of my pots getting worse, um, I am afraid of blacking out. Um, and also, um, my vision has been increasingly getting worse and I'm not sure what that's due to. Um, I don't know if it's because of blood pressure problems or, uh, pulse problems, like it getting really low. Um, so that's been a real issue that I've been fighting. And also, um, in the daytime, I've been getting very very tired. Um, I just been dozing off. I'll just be sitting and I will just doze off and wake up and um, just randomly and I don't even know what time it is. So, I mean, people can be talking to me and I'll just doze off. Um, so, I'm afraid I will do that behind the wheel. That was another reason um, I'm no longer a truck driver either, um, besides my heart and lung issues, is I was afraid um, I would pass out behind the wheel or um, I would just doze off. Um, so that was another uh, big reason I had to quit. Um, I, I didn't want to crash and um, I didn't want to take my life or my husband's life and more importantly other people's lives. So yeah, um, that was kind of a side tangent there. But anyways, yeah. Um, it's a little bit lonely during the holidays, but um, I know there's other people like me that um, they're also home alone. And I want them to know um, there's other people out there uh, that are in similar situations and um, that they're, <laughs> you know, you're not alone. Um, and um, 
you know that's that's why I made this video is um, to you know we need to all come together and um, there is a community um, we all just need to support one another so and the other thing is um, the other thing I find really hard during the holidays is um, eating and um, more importantly is um, one of the reasons why I find it hard eating is um, besides my gastroparesis is just my swallowing issue and we still haven't figured out why I have such a bad swallowing issue. Um, some my doctors think partly it's because of my GERD and but I don't think that's the whole reason. I mean I've done swallowing studies and everything but yeah, um, I don't get to eat what everybody else um, cooks. I mean, I can throw it in a blender and make it a puree texture, but it's kind of hard when I see everyone enjoying their meals and, um, you know, I don't get to eat regular textured food. And um, thankfully, most of my family is allergic to the same things I am. I mean, not exactly, so that's a blessing. Um, so I don't have to worry about my food allergies, but, um, I do find it difficult. Um, I am getting more sensitive to fragrances. And so, um, now I have to wear my Vogue mask almost a hundred percent of the time when I'm out. Um, because I will start, um, getting allergic reactions and coughing fits and my pulse ox will start dropping immediately and I'll get into these coughing fits and it's just awful and then I can't breathe and um, I'll have to go use my nebulizer try to get it under control and go take Benadryl and um, my allergist doesn't exactly know what's going on um, half the time I think he thinks I'm faking it but I don't know um, I do have my EpiPen in case of emergencies. So far, I haven't had to go in the ER for an allergic reaction um, in terms of that. Um, I've had to go to the ER for other allergic reactions, but um, so far the Vogue mask has done a fairly decent job. But um, uh, yeah, so it's just kind of hard with the holidays and such. So I thought I'd make this video just so other people don't feel so alone. And, um, and it's not, I'm not saying it's, um, you know, not that I don't feel a hundred percent isolated or anything because I do. And it's, it's, it's not, um, I'm not going to say I'm not depressed because let's be real. I am a little bit depressed. <laughs> When all I have here is my dogs, but I do have my dogs, so um, I am I'm not a hundred percent alone. So um, that is nice. I they do keep me company. So and um, it's great to have uh, all the groups that I'm involved in and everything online. So it's great to have support from everybody and everything. So and that's why I make these videos is um, all the support from you guys is great. So and I think also is the other reason I make these videos is I hope to reach everybody that is in similar situations as well that also feels the same way I do. So anyways, I will leave it at that. I'm going to be putting more videos out soon. Um, I have a lot more filming to do. Um, so you will probably be seeing me in the same outfit for the next few videos. And anyways, I will talk at you later. Bye.